I get nervous about saying these are my four favorite. Like, so I'm gonna, someone's gonna get mad at me. My first favorite is It's a Wonderful Life. That's always my favorite movie. That's the my favorite movie. It's the miracle. It's the most beautiful movie. It it feel. I try to see it every year at uh, holiday time and in a theater because you leave the theater and the whole theater has like bonded and it's like the perfect thing that a movie can do where you walk out and you're kind of seeing the world in a more beautiful way than you walked into it and Jimmy Stewart's you know um, just the greatest I love Midnight Cowboy a lot I think it's a really impressionistic weird beautiful heartfelt movie that has also like this portrait almost like a mosaic of New York City in this really incredible way and, and captures this time in a very like off the beaten path they were filming it in kind of a somewhat guerrilla style not exactly but like it was still a studio movie but they were still filming like taking real people from Warhol's factory and putting it in the movie and this was like before that was you know sort of as common in the 70s because I think it was like 68 or 9 that they filmed it I think Woman Under the Influence and it's like the movie itself but it's also sort of what that film and his whole body of work sort of stands for and the inspiration that it is i think for so many people which is amazing because it just was not like recognized for that at all but it's almost like i don't know that there's a filmmaker that i hear other filmmakers talk about more than him almost where it's a cliche and her performance in it is is shocking still it's still there's nothing like that you know now I was thinking about two movies. I was thinking about A Separation, the Oscar Farhadi movie, which I think is really beautiful, and you get like this really great ensemble. And then I was thinking about a movie called Get, The Trial of Vivian Anselm. It's, a, it's an Israeli film. And they're similar in a certain way because you feel you're watching like a troop of actors who know each other and have worked together in this interpersonal way. And so you're telling these stories in both of them about communities, basically. And the people telling those stories are in a, in a way themselves a community. You get this feeling that I don't feel like we get enough in in the states because so often people are kind of flying in to show up and do this and hi nice to meet you I'm playing your mom and da, 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 and then you leave and in those films there's an intangible feeling of them really knowing each other and being intimate that translates itself on screen <laughs>